good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and I was always told I had a voice radio, so today we're going to be looking at one of the most important questions in the entirety of the Pokemon world. Is Mamoswine a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle? Now this might seem a little bit silly, it might seem a little bit obvious, but I had, let's just say a relative of a friend came round recently, they saw my Mamoswine plush and they said, oh, is that one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? And I thought, why are they saying this? Well have a look, here is Mamoswine. And here are the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And if we have a look at a very specific place, if we look at the eyes and the mask, we can see, hang on a second, Mamoswine is starting to look suspiciously like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. However, one thing which we should notice straight away, we already have a blue Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. That's Leonardo. So if Mamoswine is in fact a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle... He is copying Leonardo's colour, and that ain't cool. So let's have a look at some of the main characteristics and see if we can find any similarities to draw. So first of all, the naming. Now, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are named after Italian Renaissance artists, those being Michelangelo, Donatello, Leonardo, and Raphael. Mamoswine is a cross between a woolly mammoth and a swine, or pig. Now, mammoths were found in Europe, Italy is in Europe. Although mammoths were found in Siberia, which is, shall we say, a little way away from and a fair bit colder than Italy. Now, swine means pig, and pigs do turn up in Italy. Pigs is also an acronym for Portugal, Italy, Ireland, Greece and Spain. Although it is an offensive acronym used by economists for European countries whose economies are not doing very well. So maybe equating Italy with pigs in that respect is, shall we say, a little bit rude. Now, was Mamoswine an Italian Renaissance artist? He was not. But we did have Massolino, who was an Italian Renaissance artist. He did work like this. And Masaccio, who did work like this. And they, that's not a million miles away from Mamoswine. Maybe you're not convinced on the naming. How about the physiology? Well, there is a problem here. Turtles are bipedal. They walk on two legs. And Mamoswine is a quadruped. He walks on four legs. And turtles swim. And although Mamoswine is comfortable in water, he can hold his own. Not much of a swimmer. How about fighting style? Now, turtles have weapons. They look like this. How cool is that picture? Or if you want a, a look at the most recent film, the weapons look a little bit like this. Mamoswine has his tusks, which are kind of weapon-like, and in fact can be used to make weapons like this. How about the sizing? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are basically human size, think somewhere around 6 foot tall. Mamoswine is 8 foot 2 inches tall and weighs 642 pounds or 46 stone or about 3 people. But if you think about it, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, those big shells, they're going to be pretty heavy too. And in recent movies... The turtles are a fair bit taller than people, so maybe, in terms of size, Mamoswine is quite close to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. How about some other considerations? Turtles run around in sewers. Mamoswine knows moves like Mud Sport, Mud Slap and Mud Bomb. Or to put it another way, they're both comfortable getting down and dirty. Turtles fight against other animals like Bebop and Rocksteady. So does Mamoswine. Think of Grumpig and Rhyhorn. Although, to be fair, Bebop is kind of like a pig, which kind of is a bit similar to Mamoswine, so let's not talk about that too much. So, let's sum this up a little bit. Reasons for Mamoswine being a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, the Italy connection, the size, and the mask. Reasons against Mamoswine being a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. The fact that he is a quadruped. The lack of handheld weapons. And the fact that he is clearly not a turtle. And maybe the most damning piece of evidence 
in the recent Kinder Egg toys, there was no Mama Swine. So in conclusion, Mama Swine, and this might shock and amaze you, is not a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. But all it would take is a little bit of ooze. You know the deal, ladies and gentlemen. Nice quick video today. Click that like button, click that subscribe button, and comment down below. Was this a video you enjoyed? If not, why not? But don't make me cry too much. I'm going to be back with more fun videos involving all things Pokemon very shortly indeed. So, as always, the most important thing, look after yourselves till next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.